This is Leslie. <clears throat> Leslie had a hand injury about a year ago. And we're doing our initial testing. And one of the things I wanted to show her was the binocular distance grid. Okay. And um, Leslie says that she has had some difficulties. She has 25 out of 25 symptoms, which is a new record uh, of the uh, persistent post-concussive syndrome scale. And she has tr difficulty with losing her place when she reads and movement of text. Leslie, would you turn that over and tell me if the, and see if that bothers you? If it does, you can turn it right over again. <laughs> okay, I guess that answers that. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, let's, now that you know what's there, let's turn it over carefully and see if you can describe what's happening. Why is it bothering you? Because of all the lines. Are they standing still or are they moving? Um, they're standing still. Is there a jittery kind of emotion to it? Is there, they, are the edges all clean or are they feathery? Um, they, they kind of go together. Does that like, make sense? like a waterfall effect? I guess when, like, if I look at it over here on the edge, yeah. it's fine. But in the middle, it, I can see the edges, but then I guess the rest kind of blurs away, if that makes any sense okay. at all. Are you getting kind of any uh, geometric mirage in a ghost shape? Are you getting any colors? No. If I do this, does this make it a little more agreeable? Yeah. How much does that improve it? Probably 50%. 50%? Mm -hmm. And now it's back again? Yeah, it gives me a headache. It gives me a headache. How about that? Would you do that? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. 50% too? Yeah. Or even? Yeah. Yeah. These are one prism doctor basing prisms. Would you turn this on for me, please? What happens there? Um, it gets better. Not as better as. It's covering one eye? Yeah. How about if we take we increase that prism a little bit? We take it up a half a prism diopter on each eye. Now leave that up. Oh. Okay. So by, by, we're going to put a one prism over top of that. Does that improve it further? Mm -hmm. A little bit? Yes, yeah, that does. More of it, it makes it better. Okay, here's that's a one. Okay. This is a one half. Uh, which of the two is, seems better of the two? The half? Okay. Or the one? I think the half. The half does. So you're that sensitive. This is a, you've got a one on each eye, so you're taking the one and a quarter would actually be a better, a better lens for you. Um, there's something else I thought of. Was oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get, uh, we're going to try some, take those off. Just hold on to them. I'm going to try some handheld prisms here uh, because this has become a question. Can you please see just a little bit? Okay. Uh, it's become a question here. Uh, the, uh, these are prisms base down. And tell me if that, if that yeah. is that a little better? Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's a little better there. Okay, now grab the, uh, the lens. We're going to switch. No, no, no. Your, your these. Yeah, okay, we're going to switch. We're going to see. Is there a qualitative or quantitative difference between the base down and the base in? Like, which which, which this, is this, better? Is, which is better? Is there a difference in that? That one. The base down? Mm -hmm. Try it again. Base down is better? Yeah, definitely. Definitely better base down. Yeah. That's interesting. I'm glad we did this uh, because that has become a question. Uh, upon my, among my colleagues who are doing this and also uh, with uh, some of the demonstrations we've done, this was one of the videos on YouTube. There's, there's a girl with light sensitivity, and she responded so much to the base down. She said, "Is the light still on?" <laughs> you know? but, so that's excellent. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, let's do one other thing on camera here. I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to use a uh, a little red cap, a uh, basis of uh, red. What I want you to do is I want you to tell me. Okay, would you cover your left eye? Yes. Okay. And I, and I want you. To, Get an estimate to your estimate to yourself how red that is. Okay. okay. And 
switch to this. Yeah. Is it the same color red? Um, Is there a quality difference? Well, it seems like it's a little bit brighter with this, with the right eye. With the color. right eye. With your, so using your left eye, it's, it's brighter. No, the opposite. The right eye is brighter. You get by it. With this, the, looking through the left eye, it's brighter. That's, that's with the right eye covered, yeah. Okay. How much different? Is there a ten percent difference or a fifty percent difference? No, like a ten. Ten percent, so yeah. one point, like about a one point difference. Yeah, yeah. like one's a, one looks a little mm -hmm. brighter, and the other one's just a little red. Like that's good. We'll repeat. That's, that's, the, we'll repeat this. Uh, or actually, why don't we just do this right now? Let's just some new territory here. See with the prisms on. Oh yeah. Okay. There's still a difference. Um, it's actually Greater. the opposite. Oh, so the right eye's brighter now. Yeah. Now we have this child psychiatrist in Providence, Rhode Island. The same thing happened. <laughs> okay. Only I wasn't sure if if it was time that did it or whether it happened immediately. Hmm. So it looks like it can happen immediately. Now she was a four point difference. She was a forty percent that the actual uh, cap looked maroon to hmm. her. She was uh, looking at it uh, initially, uh, and she was surprised. She said uh, that it, it looked that different. Yeah, it's just it looks the same color, it's just one brighter than mm -hmm. the other. Yeah, and hers it was actually a different color difference and and brightness difference, and it surprised her. And then we just did it on her here last uh, two weeks ago, and she uh, was surprised to find out it was actually brighter now the right eye hmm. than the left eye. Whereas the left eye was distinct, about forty percent. So thank you very much. I appreciate it.